Hello world. One of things super embarrassing. I literally just googled how do I record a video on my Mac because I didn't know how to record one and then I realized it was in photo booth. So I was planning on using my camera but I'm missing a cord so I won't be able to. But anyway, seeing this is my first video ever, actually my second video, I recorded a video on my camera but because I don't have a cord I can't put it on the computer so it's just sitting there. Um, so I'm going to do, do another one. And since it's my first video, I figured I would do something like an all-time favorites video because it's easy and it's all I could think of. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. First up, Mac Fix Plus, which is a setting spray for your makeup. I love this stuff. I don't use it all the time because I forget I have it. Like I bought this, I think, over a year ago and I all, all the time just forget I have it. Um, but when I do remember and I use it, it makes my makeup stay in place literally all day long and I love that. Um, one tip though which I didn't realize or I forget sometimes is make sure your mascara is dry before you spray this on because it will make your mascara just like run to your eyes basically. So this stuff is awesome. It's not that expensive. I don't think I can't remember how much I paid for because it's been a long time um, but I really really like this product and I would buy it again. So that's number one. Product number two. CoverGirl and Olay Eye Rehab CC Cream Color and Correction, and it's like an eye rehab two-in-one. It's Brightening Concealer and Olay Hydrating Serum, and it looks like this. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is still new. It just came out. I just picked it up because I needed a new concealer, and I really like it. Um, one thing, I wasn't paying attention the first time I used it because I don't pay attention a lot of the time, and I did like a full pump because it's a little pump bottle. I did a whole pump on my finger and it was so much product that I didn't know what to do with it. So I tried to put it on and it ended up looking ridiculous. So a teeny tiny bit of this is all you need. Don't do a full pump. But um, I love this stuff. It's really awesome. I've only had it for a little bit so I don't know if it's had any permanent effect on hydrating uh, under my eyes. But I'll let you know. I'll keep you informed. But so far I really like the concealer in it. Um, so yes, this is product number two. Product numero tres. NYX Mecca Shine Lip Gloss. Um, looks like this. It's got a cute little bow on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and yes, my nail polish is really chipped. Please don't judge me. I just got this. Um, it was really affordable. This is in the shade Sundance. Oh, I'm sorry. The shade Sunrise um, in LG134. And I really like it. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's very bright, very vibrant. Um, looks like this. Could try it. It smells like something that I can't place. So if you know what it smells like, tell me because it's been driving me nuts. It almost smells like a cough drop, I think. I don't know. It's weird. But not once you put it on, but on the actual applicator, it smells kind of like a cough drop. Um, but I really, really like the color. I like the fact that it lasts for a long time. And I like the fact that it was super cheap. So NYX, I'm pretty sure you can get this at Target now. Um, I ordered this off Amazon because I'm lazy and when I'm doing school stuff I don't ever have time to go to the store. Uh, so I do a lot of online shopping but this stuff is good stuff. Next up is from Bath & Body Works Honey Apple, Honey Autumn Apple. Um, both the lotion and the body spray. And this was actually out last year. I, I liked it so much that I bought I think two sets. And I not only have the lotion and the body spray, I also have the sugar scrub, which is currently in my shower and I forgot to grab it. But that's awesome too. Um, I love the smell of this. It smells like an autumn apple. It smells so good. It smells like fall. So I don't know if they actually have this this year because I haven't seen it come out yet. But they have something similar, I think, called Vermont autumn apple or something like that. Um, which I haven't had a chance to smell yet, but I'm guessing it's kind of the same thing, just renamed uh, for their new theme. But if you haven't tried this before, definitely check it out because it's awesome. Um, also from Bath & Body Works, I picked up the Blackberry Spice Candle. This is a teensy tiny mini one because it was on sale. Um, and I hadn't tried it before, so I wanted to kind of just get a feel for it. It smells amazing. It also smells like fall, but it smells like Blackberry Fall. And I love it. And I wish I could buy this for everybody I know because it smells amazing. And I've already burnt it so much, but it still has a pretty good amount of burn left to it. So yeah, Blackberry Spice Candle from Bath & Body Works. Fantastic. Definitely check this out. Uh, and my last Bath & Body Works product is a New England Autumn Bouquet. And it's one of their pocket pack hand sanitizers. This smells really good too. I love the smell of autumn flowers. Autumn is my favorite 
month. I love fall month. <laughs> Season. I love fall. It's my favorite. Can't get enough of it. I wish it was fall all the time. Since it's not, I just get really excited when it's time because all the awesome products come out. But um, this definitely from Bath and Body Works is awesome. Another product that I don't have right now because I just haven't had a chance to pick one up is from Yankee Candle. And it is um, their um, Autumn Wreath Candle. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. If you could put fall in a candle, that is it. It beats every other fall scent I've ever smelled. Even leaves, which I know like the big smell from Bath and Body Works for the fall is leaves. And I like it a lot. This is better. So definitely a Yankee Candle, check out um, Autumn Wreath is what it's called. But it's amazing. I get it every autumn as soon as I can. And I try and stock up. But yeah, definitely check that out. Another product I have, um, which is a food product, Dove Chocolates. Oh my gosh. I just recently got back into Dove because I haven't been having a whole lot of chocolate recently. Um, but I tried some of their new, this is the new ones, um, Mint and Dark Chocolate Squirrel. Swirl. Not Dark Chocolate Squirrel because that'd be weird, but Dark Chocolate Swirl. It is so good. <sighs> it's amazing. So check this out. I'm just obsessed with Dove in general right now. I literally have a little container chock full of Dove that I keep in my nightstand. And I have like one or two a day because oh, I just need my chocolate fix. Who doesn't? These are amazing. Definitely check them out. Um, I also have the cookies and cream, which I haven't tried yet, but I do have them. I don't know if they're any good. The dark chocolate, the peanut butter, and the mint and dark chocolate swirl are fantastic. So gotta love the chocolate. Um, the next favorite is shoes. I got these flats from Amazon. I think it's Olio, O-L-I-O, -I, I think. Um, they are so free. Oh, look, here it is. O-L-L-I-O. Uh, -O -O. Um, and they're on Amazon is where I found them. And they were really affordable. And they are so comfortable. They're amazing. My last item, I think, entirely, actually, is these boots. And I got them last year I think or the year before from Wet Seal and it was actually on their um, you know buy one get one for a penny sale and my friend bought them for me for a penny and I love them I wear them all the freaking time they're actually a little bit too big for me but I put like four pairs of socks on and wear them anyways because that's how much I love these boots they're amazing they're really comfortable they have a nice heel height not too high for like wearing them all day I've worn them to school um, and worn them all through classes Unfortunately, these are not in stock anymore because I'm pretty sure I bought them over a year ago. But I still love them, so they're still going to be one of my favorites. Generally, just the ankle boot. I love the zipper. I love the little little stud it's got right there. And I love the heel that's a little bit of a chunky heel, but not too chunky. And it's not too high. So I really like these. But, yep, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Oh, I forgot one. This. Altoid Smalls, and this is the wintergreen one, which is my personal favorite. I love these. I keep them in my purse, and I actually stock up because I can't get them. Nobody carries it in my town, which is teeny tiny. So whenever I go out of town, I buy like 10 of these and just keep them stocked. So these are amazing. I can eat them like candy, but I don't. I try and have like two and leave it at that, but they're really, really good. That's everything I have. So basically, first video ever, hopefully I didn't completely bore you or look too ridiculous. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see more things like this on my blog, um, and I will keep doing it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.